Hello, welcome to I Am Cho. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. Today the P stands for pocket watch, cause watch. Pocket. That dress got pocket. Yeah. Oh, watch. and it has pocket watches on it too. Why are we here? Friendship. Because we had, a, we had a rough week, yeah. like the rest of the country. We're sure. just here to talk about politics, the current political state of the mm -hmm. world. Men. When you should and should not climb a wall of a building. Yes. Boys. Release. Did you see that video of that person trying to climb the wall at the Capitol and they fell? Oh, my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. I don't wish physical harm on many people. Sure. But after this week, I think that list grew from a few mm. too many. Like, so maybe I do wish harm on many people. You know what? I'm changing my stance. I wish harm on many people. They've never climbed anything in their lives. Mm -mm. Why start now? Uh-uh. Y'all don't do physical. Don't, don't try to <laughs> yourself. But this is not why we're here. No. Mm -mm. RuPaul's Drag Race, season 13. Yes. Episode two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think in comparison to last week, last week was like Titanic, and this week was like um, the Lusitania. Thank you. Mm. No. <laughs> did you lose I'm someone? So Both you, of them sank, though. Did right? you lose someone uh -huh. on the Lusitania? Why were you so? Yeah, you, re you no, immediately I was, regretted. No. We should talk about. I was thinking. Great -grandpa. I was thinking movie length, not ship length. It was much smaller. The Lusitania. Is smaller that movie is longer than Titanic. Okay. Because no one knew what it was. We start off this week at the pork chop loading dock. Okay. I want to go to there just <laughs> just to see why. I just want to go. I just well, not like in the sh in the show. I want them to build one at Universal Studios or something. Yes, and I wanna yes. Go in, I bet that's a fun. I mean, this unless is where you're... memories were made. Mm -hmm. I would rather go to like a a gold bar or Interior Illusions Lounge. Like I would like to see uh, that. Yeah. Would you like old to visit? time Interior Come back. Lounge. Yeah. Wouldn't that be hilarious if the pork shop loading dock included like old pieces of furniture from the Interior? Yeah, lounge? yeah. Ooh, like that's that, a deep dive. Like last year's New York reunion where Andy had all the <laughs> props from all the reunions. Yeah, get out yeah. like the shade and button that. and the boobs for queen boxes. Boobs pink fuzzy bot, remember that pink fuzzy mm -hmm. bot? <gasps> we should steal that idea and use it in a video. Pink fuzzy box? Or a blue fuzzy box. And we'll use your dress. Oh, isn't this purple? Oh. So they're at the pork chop loading dock mm -hmm. and they're voting off their weakest link. It's very sad. It's very traumatic. And at this point, they're thinking it's real. Mm. Okay, but we'll say, last week I was the only one who said a person's name, and it seems like a few people agreed with me. Uh. I said Utica, because her wig sat behind mm -hmm. her hairline, mm -hmm. which is like, no offense, like it looks great when you do it. But like when she did <laughs> Bonus read! <laughs> See, that slide of hand, too, you just slip it in and they didn't yeah, even notice. Yeah, it. it's just like, that's, that's... Well, it hurts so much because it does happen a lot. <laughs> yeah. To me. <laughs> you use your emote with your forehead. <laughs> Utica and... Elliot with two T's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They, they tied, and I can't say I'm that surprised based yeah. on their looks. Yeah. Which I think was actually, even though it's all fake, it was kind of exciting that like, oh, your opening look actually counts. It does. Like you remember past seasons where they would just ruin it? They'd figure out a way to like your first thing, they would ruin your outfit, mm. like with a photo Ooh, shoot. Yeah, water. Mm. And now water. they're like, oh, well, if you want to stay, you better show up looking good. Mm. And Elliot didn't. It is your first impression. In defense of my future they friend, I think that once we get to see their character flushed out, yeah. That will contextualize the opening outfit. You can, okay, she didn't look bad, but you can't tell me that that was not a walk around. That was an outfit that you bring to put on before you do your number because mm -hmm. you want to go to the bar and get a drink. She got a vodka soda and then she went you back. You said Miss Elliot was in a tiptoe? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't anything like custom. Yeah. Like, it's definitely like and the wig from the was, mall. Yeah, and the wig was very, we've mm -hmm. all worn that wig when we ran out of others. There was actually a tie. What you mean tie? Yeah, there was a tie, and then quickly and then they, they resolved that. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> and then Robbie. it was, and then it was unanimous. And then Elliot said something which I will never forget or forgive. They said, "My fiance is going to be so disappointed." Did <gasps> oh, you know that they had a fiance? I didn't. The pain. Honestly, I didn't know that, but I do know that you don't. Not anymore, because my fiance has a fiance. She yeah. just keeps putting holes in you. You don't, now, you yeah. feel the wind? It's what we do. This was all before the credits, mind you. Yeah. All yeah. of this roller coaster yep. of emotion. Yep. 
Yeah. Do you before. think episode one was effective? Do you think they did what they were supposed to do? I still stand by my stance of they should have done this as the first, like, two episode premiere. Yeah. Last week felt long. And, yeah, and, and to have to revisit it. And to have to revisit it, I wanted more resolution. Yeah. Before we move on, I just want to say, for those of you just joining us, hello. JB is down below eating a, a horn, horn of some kind. So yeah. if you hear that, that is not someone in distress. The animal has been killed. It's not my hooves. So the next day, they walk into the workroom, the, the winning time. circle. For yeah, the first time. Yeah, it said on, like, what, didn't it say, like, the winners? Yeah, in, yeah, the winners. like, ooh, Oof. they're really you building You see the Stanford plot. experiment? I, th mm -hmm. I think it's working. It's yeah. getting inside their head. Well, they, I don't know if that's what they wanted to do, but if it is, it's... It's working. It's working, yeah. you know? Yeah. Someone posited that this whole shtick was influenced by COVID and not being have, having to be able to have that many people in the same. But I don't, how can that be? Unless they eliminate multiple people within each group, mm -hmm. I can't imagine them coming back together. Because does that mean we're, we're seeing these girls this week and we're going to see the other girls next week? Is that yes. what we're mm -hmm. doing? I think yes. so. <gasps> I think so. They're never going to be together until there's like six of them? Maybe. No, I mean, they I will be, I think. They have to be brought back together, yeah. right? I don't. I'm nervous. I'm cautious. I'm cautious. COVID's taken a lot from us. We can give them a few episodes as long as the ladies are safe. Uh. <laughs> Rue walks in, hat on, looking like a oil tycoon. Replaced oh. oil with natural gas. Oh, Ice tycoon correct. with f it. And you're oh. absolutely correct. That's a fracking fing. <laughs> Can you say that a word? A fracket. RuPaul's next new show, did you hear? It's called Frackle Rock, and it's her and a bunch of Muppets. Uh. Deep inside of <laughs> what did they do, Frack? Frack, you frack the ground. The ground. Do you know your natural resources? Are you smarter than when a When I frack, you know? frack. Just like that. Ru is like, all right, we have another queen entering the competition. You know, they <gasps> already are suspicious because they're like, okay, we don't know what's going on, so we're just not gonna like whoever walks in. Elliot with two T's. Hey, I'm here, girl. Elliot with two T's well, back. So you, so you said that they were suspicious. Yeah. Do you think it's because like the entire experience so far has been quite suspicious, yeah. or do you think it's because they just realized that there's not a fourth wall and there are cameras pointed at them? <laughs> you know what? Maybe all of this is produced. If they had that kind of awareness, it would have protected them. <laughs> from That's being emotionally traumatized. That's very true. But we did have a year. Everything yeah. doesn't seem real anymore. No. You know what I Nothing. mean? Nothing. No. So they're suspicious. They're like, what mm -hmm. is this shenanigan? And, and Elliot has to be in the position where she's defending herself against these hungry dogs. Yeah. I know I'm jumping ahead, but Candy was like, I mean, she just got here. And mm -hmm. I was like, you all just got here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You had a cocktail hour right. the day before. Right. But, and then went to your separate hotel rooms. You all just got there. But right. I do think Candy is, I think she knows that this is a producer. Like, oh, I think yes, she knows how to self-produce. So I did appreciate that. I think she was saying what the producers wanted. Ooh, everyone against Elliot. Mm -hmm. she Finally did. creating that drama they were looking for. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. She and Tina were really playing into that. And I, and I understood. Yeah, I got that it was a producer thing. But I don't know how you would do this. But I kind of wanted someone to, like, look at the camera. As it's a like you know like ah I don't know I don't trust her, mm. Mm. like, like <laughs> kind of giving like us a little into it. Yeah, yeah like we know this is ridiculous like the office Jim like, I Alfredi. see yeah I see it really is up to interpretation mm -hmm. I guess. All, our, I don't know. all our experiences your spirituality yes and then you watch TV your and you go your family out. exactly mm. would Jesus watch this the mm. answer is no Jonathan Van Ness maybe yeah but that's the occasion. closest you look like you're about to say something. No, I was gonna say I was gonna I was gonna come to JVN's defense, but then I was like, I'm not gonna die on that no, hill. I think the he already died on the cross, so you wouldn't have to die on the hill. <laughs> Hello. The unveiling of Elliot with two T's came a little quick. It just didn't feel earned. It didn't feel like uh, such a surprise, at least to the audience. I guess to them it did. I agree. I, d I would like to. I would love to sit, have seen a producer be like, Hey, Elliot, come here. Guess what? You're not going home. You're going back. In the right. And then Elliot would say. Oh. Yes, queen. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh my god. It's a default. That's a really it's good just Elliot. part of our culture now. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly my thought the entire episode was I wish they had let because the audience, we were sort of in on it because right. we had seen everything. Mm -hmm. But you're right. Like I wish when Elliot had gotten voted off or whatever, which by the way, mm. They did that whole thing with RuPaul on a voiceover. Yeah. She couldn't even come in for that part. No. Like no, she couldn't come in for a second. COVID. She could have stood six feet away and 
mm-hmm. said, vote somebody off. It's fun to think about maybe that what she hadn't recorded that yet, so it was really just like a PA. A PA being like, yeah. hey girls, sorry about this. Can you put the lipstick in the box? We promise this will be worth it in the end. I do hope we get to see their reactions. I'm sure we, we will, to. but we like, okay. yeah. it did feel a little unearned the entire episode because you're like, wait, did I miss a step? Was this on the cutting room floor? Like movies. The mini challenge. It's <gasps> run, It's fashion week. It's fashion week. The two categories, daytime and oh, was it evening wear, nighttime? Daytime. Yes. Daytime, and nighttime. Night and nighttime. AM and PM. Do we want to get into, do y'all have that look? I think I, ha- I mean, I just watched it. Okay. So I think I can, I have it. I think I can remember. Eyes. Okay. But cool. do you want to go on like fandom or something? Um, I can do it. I can do it. You can do it. I can do it. I'll, I'll she's got her, no, she's got her thing up to you. I can do it. You do it. You do it. You can do it. I can do it. So I did three sections. I said love. And then I said smiley face for like maybes. Uh And then I, for I hate it, I said, okay. Because I've realized that I have let these, not just drag race, but I've let like cutting room, what is it? Project run top model. I've kind of trying to put on like a judge, like, oh, the proportions or whatever. I think I'm just gonna moving forward go, Mm -hmm. how did I feel when I saw it? Because I don't really know anything. Mm -hmm. And also who am I to be judging anybody (laughs) anyway? Mm -hmm. Now that being said, I hated some of these looks. Uh, I'm getting it. Oh, you're lying. Oh, yeah, they didn't upload it. See, they they still didn't upload it. That's That's okay, okay. I remember remember them. Okay. Can I I see you that? There you go. Do you have the order? Um, I don't. Oops. That's okay. Okay. After so I guess the... that's not really any help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For the mini challenge, it's the runway daytime and evening where they start off with daytime. We start off with Got Mick. Got Mick is wearing this beautiful latex rainbow with the sun. Yes. Do with we the like sun, ladies? The, the little young man. Yes. Loved. Loved. In, loved. Loved. I think it's the first time I've ever seen Got Mick without a white face. She made a point to say, I usually do that, so I'm showing natural beauty. Yeah. I'm showing you range right away. There you smart. go. Very smart. smart. Yeah. Teeny little girl. Ooh, teeny tiny, little girl. Tiny, tiny, tiny baby. Hi, little girl. Up next, Candy Muse. Candy coming out in the white poofy with the yeah. red drapey. Uh-huh. This was a middle of the road for me because as they say later in the critiques, what was that with daytime? However, here's the thing with Candy. What? Because she is so funny and exuberant, yeah. she'll convince me of she'll what. She'll sell it. I'm, I'm buying what she's selling. Yeah. What did she say it was? It was like a Victorian, she was like, what did she say? Yeah, Victorian harlot, but mother of the mother house, of the so I will house. come out and get both these whores together. Cause like, you know, you want someone to get your whores together yeah. in yeah. the middle of the day. And That's she, not a nighttime activity. Mm-hmm. They have to already be together to at night. Well, she said she wanted to prove that bigger bodies can be high fashion, and I agree. I think she did that. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. me too. Next, I believe, was Miss Lala Reed. Yes. And she came out in the kind of long maxi. She did get a little tripped up. Mm-hmm. Tripped up on the skirt. I'm going to say it was in the maybe for me too. She was holding it out like mm-hmm. you might with a train or a cape, but it was a skirt. Let the skirt flow, mama. Yeah. Pete Buttigieg is in charge of trains now. Ew. Uh... I like Lala Ree. I think her talking heads, her personality, her performance yeah. is great. Mm-hmm. I think her style is still developing. And I think this was a this was a vision of that. I thought okay. we got to see that kind of played okay. out. Yeah. It was daytime. It was daytime, but it was like daytime, like going. It was a little pedestrian. Yeah. It was a pedestrian but especially given crosswalk. Comparing to all the other beautiful, like, high end things we're seeing. Mm-hmm. What should she have done to the outfit? What do you think? Because you tailor. What would have I thought she looked fine and I thought she looked great. I wanted uh-huh. her to drop it and if it would have been in brighter colors, maybe, right. or something sparklier. I didn't mind the fit of the garment. I think the reason to wear a maxi skirt like that, a long thing, mm-hmm. is to see the movement and the length. Yes. And because she was oh. holding it up, it changed it and made it look like weird. I also, didn't like the print. The colors together. The print maybe in a different in a metallic might have yeah, popped more. A I bit think of shine. that Hutchie had better colors. To me, it's still the, the dress itself wasn't enough. Maybe like a flowy open sleeve mm. or something yeah. so that there's there's movement Take both it, up yeah. top. But this Take is it, all this is all very nitpicky. I oh, nitpicky yeah. because but, she's got a good walk, she's got a good yeah. energy. Yes. And uh, much like Candy, I'm signing up for the email list for yes. what she's sailing. Next, Miss Olivia Lux. I gotta <sighs> say. Ugh. So mm-hmm. cute, Darling. so quirky. She had a bouncy attitude runway walk. She likes to smell good teeth. 
with those smile teeth, was all I would do is show my teeth. If yeah. I was happy, I'd smile. If mm. I was sad, I'd frown with my mouth open. If I was mad, I'd bite people. Smile through the pain. I mean, you got titties, you show them. Right. She got teeth. And I loved this look. I want to wear it. Mm -hmm. it did, and if you see me in it, sorry. It did call back, or it reminded me of, this was the same first challenge for last season, and Jackie Cox came out in her, like, 60s mm. kind of period piece. Oh, yeah. I think it's a really fun way to introduce 60s yourself. 60s is like drag, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a classic mm. drag And the moment. feathers, the bright colors. Yeah, if you fun. actually are in daytime drag, like, daytime... <laughs> if you actually are in daytime drag... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, are you okay? It's not COVID. It's just I'm just nervous. Did you catch it? Where's the shower curtain? Did you need the paper bag? I'm fine. Okay. So daytime drag. I always think of P Town, Provincetown. Mm -hmm. You know, because the girls have to like get in drag and go and. Yeah. I think if you see that girl on the streets of P-Town, you're walking up to her. Yes, saying, What are you about? You're fun. What are you? Yeah. What's your deal? Next, I think was Simone. The rainbow. Oh, ra oh. Uh, oh, the yeah, night with, right. with the nineties. With the It was giving back and that hair. Oh. Uh. The presentation, the runway, Killer. the suit. So, so, so <laughs> also, far. also turn far. around. It's a. Cape and it's like uh, one arm. Yeah, it's like tiny little cape. <laughs> but I still she loved needed. it. She's so tiny, she could just leave off the building. That time, look at she just little go. thing. And she told a story. And she tells a story every time mm, she does that. And I'm she listening. So, oh, I love uh, her so much. That's what you she's, she's a star. Tina Burner with yellow and, and red and orange. Um, yeah. I put it in the maybe for me. I saw where she was going, and I love a Carrie Bradshaw. I love it when you say Carrie Bradshaw. Mm -hmm. But the, there was a lot going on with the top. I feel like it was maybe a little too mm -hmm. too many things hanging the down. The top itself was like typical drag queen sequin fabric. Like it wasn't anything new. So to uh -huh. combine that with the tulle and it still be like red, it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. Red and yellow was a but, hard thing to look at. See, like why would you put yourself in that kind of box where you always have to do Like no one is telling you that you have to do it, but no, she is well, setting she, herself up. Fire because she thinks it's... She oh, yeah. She, she, no, she, an ordinance. Of the, the truck, you have to. If you're gonna use the truck, you gotta look like you gotta this. serve. Yeah. <laughs> and I say this with love. Yeah, you gotta serve. You gotta serve our colors. Yeah. Well, she thinks she's doing flame. She thinks red and yellow equals flame, but it just always looks like condiments. And mm. I say this with love because I actually really like Tina, and I'm jealous of her that yeah. she's on this mm -hmm. and she's a comedy queen and yeah. she's funny and she's, she's also. Oh my God, you're big. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me? Big. 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 So I like her big. I, I'm scared of the red and yellow. But yeah. maybe I'm wondering if I'll come all the way around to the backside and love it. Hey, do your thing. I love a, I love a brand. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Is it for me? No, it's not for me. Sure. But it's not supposed... She didn't say, hey, does Darby like this? She didn't give a shit about me. Why does it... You never call. Oh, you uh. know what? I was supposed to give you this message. It's just a piece of paper covered in ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next was nighttime. No. Elliot with two T's. Oh, right. Elliot with two T's. Please forgive me. Yeah. It was because they have a fiance and I'm pissed. Elliot She's with two T's. The red Parisian couture. Mm -hmm. I wanted to like it. I wanted to like it, but something like it about the, the length of the mm. skirt. And that, the corset mm. belt thing. It mm, just, very, mm. I liked it. But I liked the yeah. hair. I liked the hair and I love a beret. That's the start of yes. belt. Because I went to Paris. Yeah. Okay, can I say this? I'm a huge yeah. Monica Lewinsky fan, and she went to a 90s party, and she wore the beret. Mm. She said, I'm gonna be myself. Everyone else can dress mm. up like me. Mm. Not great. Watch Monica Lewinsky's TED Talk. I'd love her. Oh, she, we she stand a, Monica a Lewinsky. Talk. Huge fan. Oh. Her Twitter? Hilarious. Oh, she's funny. Yeah, we love Monica and the stand Monica. What she does for Anyway, I love her beret, and I loved that beret. But the dress. It was just the skirt length But the dress was me. fine. It was pretty. It was pretty. It's that belt. Yeah, but the pretty, it it's was pretty. Belt. I didn't mind the belt. Okay. Let me not be closed to mind it, but be clothes minded. <laughs> mind the clothes. Don't be closed minded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Night. From day to night. Mm. Got Mick. Uh, 
got me with this one. Black, yeah. black oh, gown, black. And then pasty, the, mm, the black hair. Oh, good to have the tit out. Slithering down the stage. Looking she looked bad. amazing. Yeah. A lot of fabric, a lot of yardage. A lot of velvet. Yeah, great, mm -hmm. beautiful. Candy Muse coming yeah. down in a red latex. Red and white hair for Candy today. Red latex, uh -huh. devil. Uh -huh. I liked this a lot better. With I the liked giant this. hole in the Same. back. Well, uh -huh. again, now I want hole in the back. You got one. Wait. You don't know that. Your butt you don't have a butthole. See, you have to keep wearing the earring or else it closes up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't if you wear an earring back there, it's called a rear ring. <laughs> That's good. I'm sorry. Why did you apologize? But, oh, there. I'm okay. sorry. For but you're gonna love this. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, there should be an apology a after you say that. Um, you should rear ring. that with an apology. The whole was distracting. It reminded me of like an epidural or something. Like I, I felt wow. like she was waiting for something to be inserted. Although now she should put a giant red latex tail coming. True. Out. That would be cute. That would yeah. be fun. Or a giant hole in the back of every. Dress. All right. Let me just reach in for my drink real quick. Oh, look. That's at her that. signature. Lalari, Lalari coming out. She had the pleather. Oh yeah, because. She couldn't afford leather. Yeah. Remember? Um, she said that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Lala looked good. This Agreed. was in the middle Agreed. section for me. I liked it way more than the first one, absolutely. Here's the thing, well, any time they for cut sure. to her in her confessionals, I just love her a little bit more. Oh, she's Every the single best. time. She's so yeah. I want to yeah. kiki with her. But that's the thing, you I know? think that we all just need to keep in mind, especially you fandom people on the internet. I'm talking to you, the run who runs the fandom. Mm -hmm. uh, Mindy? Don't get too caught up in where they are currently on the show right. with their drag journey. Yeah. Right. Like, of course, within the competition, let's chat and say, like, yeah, yeah, it was kind of pedestrian, whatever. Mm -hmm. But she's a star and she's, she's a, a star. great queen and mm -hmm. she will only continue to grow. So all of this comment is just coming from a like, within the competition, yeah. would I want to wear that? Yeah. No. Yes. Well, and we didn't mention this, but in the beginning, RuPaul, she kind of lightly brushed this subject of saying, all of you are meant to be here. Everyone that's in yes. the loading dock are meant to be here. She could have said more, but you she know what? Have. Baby steps. Still a ways to go. Uh, still a ways to go, but, sure. ba but we're talking about the show. Baby steps are good. Yeah. And also, like, we want to be on the show someday, too, so we don't want to say too mean things yeah, about her. Too yeah, many mean things about her. Really okay, Olivia Lux next with the kind of maroon mini dress. Black hair. She said she never Lux. wears black hair, but mm -hmm. she looked incredible. Gorgeous. She looked monsters. Or um, oh, Adam's oh, oh, family. Oh, mm -hmm. That's what it gave me. Mm -hmm. Just her beauty. She's got Morticia that beautiful Adams. face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Dark smile. Mm -hmm. She can be so bright and bubbly, but she can also be severe. I thought that dress, like the cut of it, and the design that kind of tricked the your nude. eye into, yeah, into yeah. a smaller way. Mm. I thought it was brilliant. I, I can see so you wearing something like that. Gorgeous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Call Olivia. Just say I need to borrow it. Um, Let me see. For a few years. I'll get it right Hey, back. Olivia. Hey! I could see your screen. She hung up. She did hang up because oh. she doesn't, I didn't have, she didn't have my number saved. Okay. She answered sure she it, but then smiling. she said, I don't know this number. She's my lock screen. I call it Olivia Lock's screen. Simone. Oh, I loved it. This beautiful mm. hair. The, mm. It was like with the poofs at the end. Mm -hmm. It was like a molded chest plate with a little drapery over. I'm going to say I was a little confused at the outset, but. When she got to the end of the runway, I was sold. I was sold. sold. Yes. She has Great skin. If you got great yeah. skin, show it. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. Skin. She also just like like they said in the judging panel when they were talking about all of her looks this week. She just sells it. Yeah, like she, yeah. she yeah. sells it the runway, yeah. and it wasn't until she started like standing at the end of the runway playing with her hair that I was like, oh, I love this. It truly wasn't until she brought her personality into it. Having a good time. But also, I think she is so high, high fashion. She's from the House of Avalon. This is true. Mm -hmm. I think she's so high fashion that it's like above my head. References I don't have yet, mm -hmm. so I don't, I'm don't. i confused by it at Ma'am, do not put yourself down. Look at all these clocks you're wearing. That's a lot of time That's on That's a you. lot of time. You mm -hmm. put, a, put a lot of time into that outfit. I <laughs> time into that outfit. Tina Burner. Mm. Tina Burner in uh, the latex. latex. Red and yellow. She had the red version of the wig that Janali was wearing last week. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yeah, that braid. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I liked it. It was in the maybe column for me, but I liked it. I didn't like it. And that's okay. <laughs> you don't have to like everything. And I'm not going to like it. I didn't like it. I, 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 like, I like latex. I think there's a... Um... Now is the time where we're saying, okay, we get it. Yellow and red. Well, and I think there's something that, that we're seeing thing? with her hair as well. Is that the your big message 
hasn't gotten to her yet. <laughs> what I mean by big is like just her general stature. She's very tall mm -hmm. and she's she's built like a very tall mm -hmm. and the wigs seem really small. Uh -huh. You wore a latex thing without any sort of embellishment. Mm -hmm. I just wish there were more, I don't know. I'm excited to see her in the comedy challenges, like the roasting yes. challenges, because I know that she is a sickening comedy queen. But that's something you could say about everything that she's wearing that you don't particularly enjoy, is that it's well made, the well, concept is good. Mm -hmm. I just, for me, I wish she would match the outfit to Can her I sign in as, body. as the DA? You prosecuting? Uh, I'm gonna prosecute the both of you, because I want to say, what if No. What's DA jargon? <laughs> order. Order, 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 order. And then finally, Elliot with two T's. Elliot coming out. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, showgirl, long I black. I loved it. I'm going to love it, I too. loved it. I'm going to say I loved it. She looked good. And you can tell she's a dancer the way she... The way she moved that thing around. Mm -hmm. yes. Fun. Yeah. I love a feather and a hat. Me, too. Me, too. We should do feathers and hats. One yeah. Day. Oh, this is kind of feather. Oh, no. That's fair. Hit That's feather, but without the middle letters it's just fur um what were your faves from each category daytime got mick daytime got mick as well daytime got mick nighttime hold on let me check my let me check my notes mine was olivia lux oh she looks so good i was gonna say olivia lux or simone but i'm gonna go oh, simone. okay good i think i might go elliot two oh, okay. okay we all had different night ones and i was the only one who was right that was interesting. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, so it's the next day. So that was the mini challenge. Oh, I can't believe they have to do so much for one so episode. Much, so much, right? That's, this is why it felt like a, a two-part episode. Yeah, it really did. Because that mini challenge was big. That was a big well, I liked it because more stuff happened than just six lip syncs. And yeah, oh, mm -hmm. The maxi challenge is a musical challenge where they have to sing along to RuPaul's song. Congratulations. Yeah, but not only that, Higgins. they have no guidance. They have to just do no it guidance. all themselves. Yeah, right. They don't get Jamal sent. Sims. No. Oof, I'd love, I would Sims. love to get Jamal Sims. I would love to get I love Jamal Sims. Sir. He's one of the few like recurring guest judge so things that's just so lovely. He's so lovely. So kind. I mean physically attractive, that yes. helps. But also just so lovely. Constructive. Yeah. yeah, too. So Elliot with two T's is hesitating because mm -hmm. she wants to have input. She is a choreographer. She dances. But and then when she does open up, they're like, okay, so Miss Thang wants to speak. Yeah. She feels like she's the new kid in town. The the, the new girl in town. Mm -hmm. She's Elliot. Two T's. She's already made a splash in a way that maybe she's uncomfortable with. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't want to come right out and say, I'll be in charge. She's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mm -mm. Elliot should have spoken up because I was kind of seeing this underdog story set up for this episode for yeah. Elliot like I'm coming in everyone's against me if I had just communicated to them that I've been exiled from the loser group and I'm here to like help you out we're all sisters here just communicate yeah. that they would have been like oh I'm so sorry you went through that okay 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 I have an idea okay okay well I'm listening oh let me let me get my bubbles oh, come on. we should tweet at them yeah, they gave all the New York drag queens bubbly stuff. I want bubbles. Well, weren't they like the sponsor of Untucked? Well, I do have to say, even without a sponsorship, this strawberry bubbly it's quite really does hit the spot. What did you think of your mango bubbly? Oh, I love it. And your Diet Coke flavored yeah. bubbly? Mm. Delicious. I actually hate bubbly water. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You acquired taste. Okay. Like it, you'll but I love well, bubbly. We lost that sponsorship. No. <laughs> <laughs> we get to the point where Elliot is revealing to the rest of the girls that she was voted off yeah. by everybody yeah. twice. Mm -hmm. I thought that was an interesting take. Uh, reason because. I thought it would have been so much more exciting and played into the mystery what's going to happen next thing that they're trying to put this cast through. Mm -hmm. If she had played it up like if she talked to producer and had decided like i'm gonna tell them that we had to keep being eliminated and i'm the only one who survived really keep them guessing i'm guessing and it uh, endears elliot to us the thing like yeah i just wanted to fuck with them like we did all these oh. challenges i sent denali home and then kimura sent this person home and then i you know what i mean but you see when you lie you just have to make more lies to protect those lies and you want well that's, that's a why i live as a drag queen now it's uh, clear. i used to be a doctor you know my strategy would be like, don't trust anyone. Yeah. You may think you're winners, but no one wins here. When she did actually finally come clean and says like, yeah, I got voted off twice. All it did was make her look like a fool. Like they mm. just kind of laughed at See, her. See, I think 
because right after that they were like, oh, well now we'll be nice to you. I think oh, that I was think, more important to her, I guess. I think. And me. Oh. As a viewer. A viewer. A viewer. Also, I'd want to fuck with them. Oh. That's the difference. See, we all have different strategies. What would your strategy be? Would you I tell them the truth or would you fuck with them? I would tell them the truth. Uh -huh. Well, I would tell them the truth and be like, get inside their head like, you can't trust anyone here. Okay? You don't know what's going to happen. Don't, even, not, don't even trust the person behind the camera. Okay? These four walls. And then Mike goes, hey. <laughs> you two would be so good on this show. Mm -hmm. well, you want to seek pity? That's you my thing. Is I, <laughs> I lower the bar. <laughs> I have the expectations so low, so that way when I surpass them even a little bit, everyone's like, okay, but let's uh, be honest. Don't go on TV and immediately make people feel pity for you because right. you have a cyst. Like, don't make that <laughs> about... Oh, uh, what happened? I didn't say I would do that. Oh, what happened? Don't, like, I wouldn't make be... your entire Drag Race experience about the fact that you had a cyst on your butthole. Oh, oh. Why would you, you know do what that? She, oh, what you happened? know what helped with that? A rear ring. Because those pop. <laughs> JK, we love you so too. Before we get to the performance, there was this moment with Gottmik. In the lyrics, he writes, I was born a girl. And then he forgot about that. And when they all hearing it, he's like, oh fuck, I didn't really get to have this conversation. Right, yeah. First of all, it's your first time on an experience like this. You're already on pins and needles. You don't know what this is going to be, how people are going to be right. react. I understand his right. trepidation. You don't even know how RuPaul is going to react. Mm-hmm. God, I'm really never going to be on this show. Continue. <laughs> you can so, edit this out if you want to. Remember uh, that. He was a little nervous to to kind of open up and come clean uh, to the other girls. Yeah. But in the end, I think it was fine. Of and course, in the end, it's our beautiful, lovely angel, Olivia, who he confides in, which, like, of course, out of everyone in that room, who's the person that you're going to go to for comfort? Olivia. The, the teeth. The teeth. The, te the natural the teeth. teeth. I heard they're just... na big naturals, I heard. <laughs> She's just matches. so lovely, and it was such a lovely conversation to watch. I also was a really informative, just the discourse about pronouns. He's like any of us. In drag, I prefer she. Out of drag, I prefer he. Because I know I've, I've made that mistake before on this show. Because yeah. in the spirit of trying, I, if I'm not sure what they prefer, I just say them. Right. But some people don't like that. Yeah, I was good to ask. Yeah, I there's guess. not all. Yeah, exactly. There's not always like a perfect guess, but there is asking, asking. Uh -huh. And if you can't ask, try your best. And if you make a mistake, please admit it. Please don't immediately start defending yourself know, on Twitter and so then blocking and muting people. That's embarrassing. Oh, oh. who did that? Uh, ooh. So, speaking of how <laughs> inspirational Gottmik is, Gottmik's performance was funny because Gottmik looked very wobbly and mm -hmm. was exactly, I was like, that's me. She looked beautiful and she did enough mm -hmm. that it wasn't that distracting, mm -hmm. but I was like, oh, I can be on TV. Mm -hmm. You know who stood out to me? Oh, Olivia. She looked like a little oh, my oh. God. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Yes, looks amazing. Voice. The voice is amazing. The voice is amazing. The lyrics were great. I'm mad at her. Yeah. yeah. Because that's what I want to be. Yeah. yeah. That hair. Beautiful, that gold polished, hair, talented. The shingalingalinga -a -a on the right. She killed it. Simone killed it. Yes. Oh, I thought Simone killed it. Yes. Candy. Edit. Forgetting the choreography. The choreography. And remember when she gave the note, who was it that said that they were nervous? And Candy was like, well, just act like you got it. They don't know the choreography, so if you make a mistake, that's part of it. And then she gets on the runway, and she doesn't do that. She, she's looking around. She's looking around going, it gave me and fear. she was in the middle. Oh. She could have really done whatever oh. she wanted. She really could have, because it was right after her. Yeah. But that's easy for us to say watching TV from home. Yeah. To that end, later Michelle says to Tina, kind of what I was thinking when I saw it. Like, Tina did a good job, but this isn't theater. It's not a bar. It's TV, so it is different. I Look thought, I cameras. think Simone she does that so well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jumping forward, especially to the spoiler lip sync, Simone knew where the cameras were. Yes. yes. Um, RuPaul said that this was a great moment, okay? This just mm -hmm. solidified the production team's goal with Simone. She's a star. Yeah. When yeah. you have the star edit, you can do no wrong. None. She's a star. Also, it's not the edit. It's just who she is. It's just who she is. Yeah, She's got she it. She's just a star. I think Candy has it. Candy yeah. has a different it. They're gonna put. Candy... They're gonna push Candy. I think yeah, Olivia I has it. it. I love that Olivia. we kept getting that story this episode of her saying they don't believe I'm a threat, and I get it because you're the pretty, pretty smiley lady, mm -hmm. and you're new, and you're new. To, to but by like, their standards, Olivia. I'm not that innocent. Oh, no denying she is Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. That's what I was gonna say. She burned down a gym. <laughs> Tina burned down the I gym. Burned Tina down burned down. Now Tina was fine. She was good at the in the. Sorry, that was. <laughs> Tina was fine. I liked her lyrics. Like Jamal said, she was in the pocket. I want someone to say that about me. Someday. In the pocket. In sure. The what pocket. does that mean? You know what? I was just thinking. You're in the pocket. Watch. <gasps> Don't 
for me. Thank you. Let me feel that pocket. One person who stood out in a good and a not so great way was Elliot. Right. In the performance. Oh. Elliot had all of the, the moves down, mm. pounding the pussy, doing right. all of that. But there was like a bit of a disconnect. What was that? Mm. I think a little scared face, a little nervous face. But I liked yeah. the I liked yeah. the lyrics. She's a dancer and she's really focused on doing the best she can. And sometimes that plays on your face. When uh. you're really focusing on getting, I have to do this. You're this not living in it, right? You're being very calculated. She's not, mm -hmm. not, not putting the ease on your face. Mm. I get that a lot when like uh, in mm. the IMHO comments and they're like, Darby was like really in this review. Like <laughs> she was talking right into that camera. Shut the fuck up. I'm is this like, the oh, mean scene? Face. They said the one in the middle is mean, so. Yeah. Oh shit, that's you now. That's me now. Uh oh. I'm so nice. You're big, you're me. <gasps> I don't give a fuck. Runway. Mm -hmm. Category is let me. You better what? Slay? No. no. Oh. That was good. You better slay. Up first. Green eggs and ham. Nope. Got me. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. Got me. Got me. Diego Matoya. Shame she got to go first because I didn't need to see anything else after that. I know. It's so good. It's so okay. good. It's so good. That's that's finale caliber. It's not fair. Yeah, that was brilliant. How can you go on there and like yeah. have the other girls like after? Like so that? we're all three. Um, yes, we're yes. all three. Yes. Yes. Up next, La La Rie. The gold, the may, big, billowy in the front. <gasps> La La Rie, that's a yes for me. Yeah. I thought, yes, what we've been getting used to, not wearing pants at home yeah. kind of oh, look. Mm. I thought waist up, the best she's looked. Yes. I loved the, the volume of the hair. I loved the gold. I wish the pants had been like a gold tuxedo pant. Something that kind of played into the fantasy of the top. Because the top and the hair looked like she'd put a lot of time into it. Mm. And the pants were just those like leggings. I see what you're you know saying. You know what I mean? Oh. oh that would have been a cute little... Like had she done like a little... See, I thought it was more like I a like pencil pant so she could have the flary like... I do like a pencil tuxedo pant. Something that like kind oh. of plays into I the, like that idea. On my collar. I kind of want to see that look like tuxedo... Imagine this, tuxedo pant. So I refix it. Oh, you know what? I don't have her number. Uh, oh. This is to me the, when you hear LeMay, this is what I think of. Like quintessential LeMay, mm -hmm. gold flowy bows, ruffles. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of classic, we're gonna go to a LeMay that I never would have thought of. Candy Muse as the like fembot mm -hmm. thing. Oh yeah. She starts off with a purple thing, she takes it off. She has the bra and panties. Mm -hmm. I will say I enjoyed the bra and panties much more than I did the purple robe. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Was it to the level that like, like even her night and day look was no, but served its purpose. It served its purpose. Mm -hmm. and I, keep in mind, they have a long list of looks that they have to come up with in a very, very short amount of time. It's just ridiculous. And I do feel like this one was a little more club. She already had it. Let me bring it kind of look. Right. But I, I liked it better. I agree with you. I liked it when she opened up and you could see what was in. Yes. I did think the headband looked like she was covering something. Going the hairline. On with the hairline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe she should give you know that, that to Utica before she leaves the. the oh, portion. so we won't let it go. I saw her hair. Pull it down. Pull it down. <laughs> All they had to do was Utica. Don't watch right? the first season. That's the thing that upset me the most is that look, she's been sitting there. What, they've been sitting there what two weeks, mm -hmm. and not a single person has said a word to her. Would you say? Would you say? She walked. She walked. Sorry, I'm so upset. Oh, she, she walked up to get her little lipstick. She walked past all those girls, not a single person. Kamara couldn't have like tripped her. Then of course, we go to the boxing legend, <gasps> Simone. Wow. Knock, knockout. Champion. Knocked me out. Uh -huh. We are the champion. Uh -huh. Boxing gloves, Muhammad Ali, other boxing things. Two braids. House of Avalon belt. Yes. Calling into her. Oh, what a brilliant idea mm -hmm. for LeMay. Her. Like what a off yeah. the wall. It was still beautiful. Like she had the busted brow. Like I thought that was so cute. That was like cute. it was still beautiful, but it was It was clever. thoughtful and clever and high fashion. I love yeah. her. Loved it. I love it. And yeah. it said Ebony Enchantress on the back of the robe, mm -hmm. I think. So beautiful. Which she had a little which was in her wrap. She's, uh, she's oh. sprinkling brand muffins across brand the Brand muffins. Legs. Up next, Olivia Lux, and she was wearing old Hollywood. That hair was stunning. The color was cute. Uh, what did we think of? I didn't like the shape too much, but you know, skirt, we all have different tastes. Yeah, of... I liked everything. I, I wish the skirt would have been different. No, it was a uh, skirt. Was... I know, and that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, oh, you thought 
looked mm. like a pan. Mm -hmm. I loved the old Hollywood glamour. She looked gorgeous. The updo. I mean, she's a stunning. She's blessed in the face uh -huh. and the teeth, as uh -huh. we've talked about ad nauseum. A lot of teeth. But the way that that dress laid, it was not, it was weird. Yeah. Tina Burner burning down the runway. Oh, not really. Silver. 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 She, she was, she went from Tina to Tin. Uh, yes. Man. And I loved this. The chest reveal. The chest reveal was the, cool. That fucking axe clutch. <gasps> yeah. This was so really good. So cute and clever. The wig was really fucking cool. It yeah. was like that scalloped finger wave. Yes. I really liked this. Mm -hmm. I like Tina. I, again, it's a proportion thing. Like the hair was cool, but it was so tiny compared to like the rest of her look. Like it just... I uh, I want to I want uh, is that rude? No, no, but I but I will say so as the DA, mm -hmm. order order in the court. Like there's a reason I don't wear <laughs> tight wigs like that because the proportion of my face would not allow for. However, it. especially you with wigs, I'm sorry. You Just give it to her. You don't see yourself the way, of, like you think you can't wear certain types of wigs, and I'm here to tell you you can. I understand what you're saying about Tina, but. The whole look together, yes, a, a bigger hair would have been fine. It would have been uh, great. It would have made her look smaller. But track queens can be big too, I think. And after yeah. all. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but you're big. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> I, look, I didn't mean to call you out. I didn't mean to... No, 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 no. But of I'm course. just saying, like, I get maybe it. that's something that we don't have to... Like, maybe that's a, a, a thing that you were taught from these shows that maybe we can unlearn. You're no. toxic. Oh, no. <laughs> You're toxic. Because I don't think I'm saying, like, oh, well, her body type is wrong for drag. No, and I don't I'm think saying you're saying that. I'm saying that there's certain things that I just... It's just not working. Oh, yes, no, I know. I, I understand. No, I understand Sorry. what you're saying. No, no, no. Keep it all in. But thank this you so much they... for complimenting my my head. You're beautiful, and you. You know what? No, 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 no! no, no. Oh, Don't my. take it off. <laughs> oh, I should put it back on. <laughs> no, 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 no! Is this who you want to be? <laughs> I want you to be who you want to be. Yes, you look gorgeous. Um. This is, do you know that lady on, on the internet that goes, no, or it's true, or it's true. Can you do that real quick? No, it's true, it's true. No, <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? No. I'll have to send it to you. No, I don't. Okay, I don't. okay, okay. <laughs> internet things is very Katy Perry right now, too. I think I feel so. Ugly. Okay, last up is Elliot. <laughs> I feel so oh, ugly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Elliot was in the kind of 80s, one shoulder. She looked like 80s sateen from Moulin Rouge. She looked, I thought she looked really cute. You know what? I do like that vibe that she's going for though. I do like an 80s it's mom. It's that 80s yeah, that vibrant mm -hmm. right, mom, right, right. I see. Yes. Context. Sorry, this wig, it's distracting it's, my brain. It's like sucking the life out of you. I feel like Julie Andrews, but like after the Nazis got her. Oh, they got her. Who's next? That's it. That's it oh, for that's the it. runways. Oh. No one's going home. Instead, mm -hmm. we're just going to do a top two. So, of mm -hmm. course, it's Simone and Olivia. Mm -hmm. Yes, for a $5,000 cash tip. The song is, I should have stayed at home. It's not when I met alone. It's when you said, I never know. It's a they both did a great job. Olivia's was a little more comedic and she was moving a lot. Yes. Simone was a little more in tune to the song. Yes. She, she also confidence. owned the space. She yeah. explored the space and she owned it. Like you said, she connects and yeah. she knew where the cameras were. Simone is hot. Wait, hold up. Yeah. Can I get something off my chest? Okay. okay. Oh, can I say something? <laughs> yeah. Simone yes. is hot. Hot. Yeah. Hot. Lux is cute. Pretty. But Simone is hot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's just an essence, a vibe. I love someone that doesn't have to say too much and just lets the body do all the talking. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Sashay, Shantae, Panther on the runway. Very much it was that about energy. Simone. Uh, oh, ooh. you're the star. Oh. Is that what you get from me? Ooh, my little star. Now let's go get McDonald's. Huh? <laughs> so, hot ass Simone wins. Yes. 
<gasps> Deservedly so. $5,000. Yeah. She can pay for one of her costumes now. Right. Next week, we finally get to see our girls again. Mm -hmm. The other girls! Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I want to see Denali and Kimura again. I want them to find out what happened to Elliot with two T's. I want yeah. to see that reaction. Yeah. yeah, I hope we get that though. I'm worried. Uh, we saw a few holes in the storytelling in this episode. No, that was Candy's outfit. <laughs> you know what? Her backside was blown out. <laughs> Uh, for sure. <laughs> she went to fist giving for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited for next week. I can't wait to see our girls again. Mm -hmm. Me too, ladies. Oh, return, return. So we had a, a few technical difficulties last week. We weren't able to share some of the things we filmed because apparently you have to charge that microphone, which is like... In, the, in That's 2021, news. That's news. we want to thank everyone for so many incredible donations in the month of December. Yes. Not only did you give to us so that we could live, but you also gave specifically to the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless. And we raised $452. <gasps> yes. Oh! That's a lot, That's a not lot. only because it was the holidays and we know that, you know, with the pandemic, it's hard, money's hard, but also you've been giving all year and we've been raising so much money all year long. So we just thank you so much yeah. for all of the donations and the kind messages mm -hmm. and the comments. People gave multiple times. It was just very, very mm -hmm. heartwarming. So thank we would like you. to thank you right now by scrolling your names. Should we sing the Drag Race, uh, what was the song? The Drag Race. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sing the other verse that they're not oh, releasing. For sure. yet. Oh, yeah, for of course. Sure. Okay, okay. And congratulations. I can't say there that. You go, there you I'm go. I'm not going to say that. Congratulations. I believe. This is Diamond Chow. 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 Thank you. you so much. I'm gonna put this on. I have to say, with all of that hair, I'm getting cold. Do you think that You're if the people thin. that went to Puerto Vallarta knew about us, they would need the community and support? If they just knew that our channel exists, that's there's the problem. community here. That's the problem. That's the so problem. So if you want to keep people safe in a pandemic, share our videos with Circuit Gays so they don't yeah. go to Puerto Vallarta, yeah. okay? All the fulfillment, all the emotional connection, that's what we have to here. offer. Are there any other announcements or anything? I just want to say, if you're I just wanted to say, if you're new to our channel, hello. Check us out on our social medias. We love seeing when you tag us on your stories. So Ooh, yeah. we love interacting with y'all. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It's us. Oh. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week for another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13. Here's another episode starring Denali and Kimora. See you next Ooh. week. Bye. Wait, but also Juicy. RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2. Oh, oh my shit, God, I forgot that, that happens. Week. Yeah, we'll be that back for that, too. So <laughs> we'll see ya. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. That is next week, huh? I actually am really excited. The girls. <gasps> the girls. Jenny Lemon. The Scottish girls. Those are the ones. Scots. Great Scots. Scots. Great Scots! Sherry Valentine. Yeah. Sherry who? Cherry Valentine. Cherry. Cherry. Oh, it's actually. Let's be. I'm sorry. Very yeah. careful. Use that I say Here. Here. What? Well, I'm out of drink. Oh. You know what? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. Oh. Don't take it off. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Don't take it off. Mm-hmm. <laughs>